This is Fox 13 News in high definition. Fox 13 and UDOT are teaming up to reach the goal of zero fatalities on Utah's roads. This week is Utah's first drowsy driving awareness week. To emphasize how dangerous it is, Fox 13's Kirsten Nunez was invited to be a test subject to see how her brain works on 30 plus hours without sleep. UHP says over a thousand crashes on Utah roads each year are due to drowsy driving. An average of 18 deaths all due to fatigue and zero fatalities wants to put a stop to it. <laughs> From Monday into Tuesday, I stayed awake for 30 hours and got a first-hand opportunity to see what happens to your brain when you don't have enough sleep. You're sleep deprived. Yes. Zero sleep. No sleep. What we're going to measure on this test is wakefulness and sleep. Now this is a sleep test, what we call a daytime sleep test. This can objectively measure how long it takes a person to get to sleep. That one right here by the eye. With heavy eyes, I went into the sleep room at the Ogden Clinic and got ready for the study. Well, as you can see, I'm all wired up and ready to go and really ready to get some sleep. Our photographer, Doug, is going to take you behind the scenes to show you what the doctor will be looking for. What we do is use eye movements and brain activity to measure wakefulness and then sleep. I was finally laying down in a dark room, ready to sleep. So what we see after just an actually one and a half minute, uh, Kirsten got very sleepy to the point that she was drowsy. And if I were in this condition behind the wheel of a car... Drowsiness will affect good insight, good judgment to a significant degree. And in fact, studies have shown a person that is sleep deprived of 24 hours or even less uh, even up to uh, 19 hours on one study showed that their response time, their reaction time to vigilance assessments was reduced by 50 percent. Wakey, wakey. Dr. Chris Hammond says if I were to get behind the wheel of a car with that brain activity, it would turn into a very real nightmare. Well, oftentimes what happens is they fall asleep, they go off, they go off the side of the road, the going off the road wakes them up, and then as they go off the road they wake up, they overcreate, they come back across the road, and now they're overcrack again back the other way and then they go off the road and, and, and oftentimes will roll their vehicles. And experts say the best option isn't caffeine or turning up the music, but simply pulling over. Pull over. Uh, three minutes to pull over, walk around the car, refresh yourself a little bit, um, just get some fresh air. You know, those three minutes might seem like a really long time of when you're trying to get somewhere. The reality is three minutes is a lot better than not getting there at all. And if you try to outrace your own fatigue, it could be deadly. You are taking your life in your hands and you could potentially take other families with you. Lori Hensler's son died 16 years ago when he was a passenger with a drowsy driver who crashed. And she doesn't want to see anyone else go through what she has. Please don't drive drowsy. It's deadly and you don't have the right to take your life or anybody else's life. In Ogden, Kirsten Nunez, Fox 13 News, Utah.